Well, good morning, everybody. This is Kim at Uncensored Food, and welcome to my kitchen. Now, it occurred to me that some of you might be the kind of people who just want something simple and easy, but, you know, not as boring as what it's always been growing up. Today, I'm gonna make for you a tuna fish sandwich. <sighs> Could not be simpler. All this stuff you see here is going in it. First of all, and most importantly, don't buy that shit in the can that's in packed in water. I think you're missing a big opportunity for some great flavor there. So instead, I would like you to buy the tuna in oil. That's a lot of good flavor there. Get your pan started to heat it up because I'm going to butter and toast, uh, Texas toast. That's what this is gonna go on. So here's how you put together the most delicious thing. I've started with two cans of tuna fish packed in oil. To that, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a, uh, about a quarter of an onion diced very small and two garlics that are called diced very small. I'm going to add one diced small celery stick. I am going to add a tablespoon or two of sour cream. Yes, I said sour cream. I'm going to add a tablespoon or two of mayonnaise, real mayonnaise, not that shit Miracle Whip stuff. Don't use that, that's poison. And about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Get that sucker in there. And then mix that up. Salt and pepper if you like. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes not so much. Okay, let's mix that up. While I'm mixing this up and deciding if it has enough or not enough, I'm taking two pieces of Texas toast, it's the thicker one, and butter it on at least one side. Stick that in your mice and frying pan and heat that up. Toast it that way. Now this is not rocket science. If you decide you want more mayonnaise, put it in. If you want less, use less. If you want more mustard, put it in. Salt and pepper, put it in. But these are the basic ingredients that make this so delicious. Now here's the secret. I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of honey. Uh, it's not gonna be a sweet sandwich, but it's gonna take a little of that acid away from the, from the, ma from the uh, mustard, but it's so good. And a couple of squeezes of lemon juice. Some people have said to me, ah, tuna fish is so fishy. Duh, it's tuna fish. It's supposed to be good and fishy. Mix that all together. And we're almost home, kids. Alright. Now the most important part. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. That's so good. After having a little taste, I decided it needed a little more heat, so I'm gonna add chili sauce to that. Just a little dash. Not much. And mix that in. I also put in some red pepper flakes. And my bread is a sizzling. What are you gonna do for somebody else today? Something. I have two cans of tuna fish in here and that's a lot. So I'm gonna bring this to the neighbors. Let's see if that chili sauce fixed it. Oh my God, you've gotta eat this with thick cut potato chips. I have been waiting all day to make this and eat this. So the bread is toasted, buttered on one side and fried and nicely toasted on the other side. The next part of your job is to be generous. Ladle that onto the piece of bread. Look at that beautiful thing. It fell. Oh my God. Use chips as a as a scoop, and now a nice serrated knife to cut it so you don't mush it all out. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Very delicious tuna fish salad sandwich. Anybody could have turkey, but I'd rather have this. Mm. This is Kim at Uncensored Food. The most awesome tuna fish sandwich you've ever eaten. Do something nice for somebody else today. I'll see you later.